if a muslim commits suicide will he be a dweller of hellfire forever will his punishment never end even if he was a righteous person in this worldly life and performed ibadah to allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 29 wala taqtulu anfusakum and kill not yourself so suicide it is clearly prohibited in the glorious Quran and suicide it is a major sin according to Imam Dhahabi he writes in his book Al-Kabair the 70 major sins wherein he lists the major sins and he says that suicide it is on number 29 in his list of major sins so suicide it is clearly prohibited in islam and the punishment for the person who commits suicide it is mentioned in the hadith of abul prophet muhammad peace be upon him wherein he said that if a person kills himself with a piece of iron then on the day of judgment in hellfire he will kill himself again and again in the same manner with the piece of iron If a person drinks poison and kills himself then in the hereafter in hellfire he will keep drinking this poison and will do it again and again so the punishment for the person who commits suicide is that he will kill himself the same way in hellfire and suicide it is never the solution this life it is a test for the hereafter Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran surah Mulk chapter number 67 verse number 2 Alladhi khalaqal mauta wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you are good in deeds This life it is a test for the hereafter So even if a person has trials and tribulations he has to bear it with patience and perseverance And if a person commits suicide he is being ungrateful to the decree of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of the pillars of iman as we know it is believing in qadr that is destiny whether it be good or bad so even if there are trials even if there are tribulations a person has to bear it with patience and a believer is situation it is always a win win situation if good befalls him he is grateful and thankful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if there is any test or any tribulation he bears it with patience and he will be rewarded for it so for a believer it's a win win situation and suicide it is never the solution and as you asked in a question that the person he has committed suicide and if he performs ibadah and if he is a righteous person will he go to paradise a true and a practicing believer a true and a practicing muslim he will never commit suicide because he will never give up on the life on the trials and tribulations in this world he will be patient and he will be content with whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed upon him and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious quran surah nisa chapter number 4 verse 48 surah nisa chapter number 4 verse 116 inna allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bih wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He will not forgive the sin of shirk but he may forgive any other sin if he pleases. So if Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases he may forgive your sins even if it be suicide and he may directly admit you into the gardens of paradise. If Allah wishes he may punish you in hell fire for some time and later on admit you into the gardens of paradise. It is Allah's prerogative. And Abul Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that anyone who says la ilaha illa allah anyone who believes in the shahada that is la ilaha illa allah muhammadur rasulullah there is no god but allah and prophet muhammad peace be upon him is a messenger he will enter paradise and abul prophet muhammad peace be upon him said in another hadith that anyone who has an atom's weight of iman in his heart he will enter paradise so eventually the believers even if they have an atom's weight of iman in their heart eventually they will enter paradise so you should never despair of the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if we are tested even if we are trial even if there are tribulations in this life our main focus our main goal should be attaining the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be attaining jannah and if this is our main goal even if we have trials and tribulations in this life we know that it is temporary 
but the home of the hereafter it is eternal and it is everlasting and the believers they will abide in paradise forever so the life of the hereafter it is eternal and it is everlasting